with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jew, those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son sets you free, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham, but now you are trying to kill me. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, we are not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, if, you were, if God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come to, on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were ordered by King Nebuchadnezzar to fall down and worship the statue when the bagpipe, the, the trumpet, whatever musical instrument that called to worship. Like we have our bells, right? We ring our bells and it's time to come to Mass, right? So that's the way it used to work before everybody had a watch, okay? Ring the bell, come to Mass. Well, they would blow the trumpet and you had to fall down and worship whatever the statue was that King Nebuchadnezzar had decided he was going to call people to do. This was a, a way of forcing obedience and uh, keeping people in line and those sorts of things. And so... What did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego say? We're not doing that. And so King Nebuchadnezzar says, you don't do that. We're gonna, I'm putting you in the fire. And they says, and you know, and our God will save us from the fire or our God can save us from the fire, but maybe he won't. But even if he doesn't, we're not gonna worship your God. And Daniel, the prophet Daniel here, is encouraging the people of his day to, re, to remain faithful. What was the, what happened to the Jews over and over again? What happened to them at Mount Sinai when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments? What happened? Aaron set up the golden calf and what did they do? They worshiped it. What happened when the nation split into the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom? In the northern kingdom, they set up two golden calves, and guess what they did? They worshipped them. You know, there is this, Mark Twain said, it's not that history repeats itself, but it rhymes, you know? It like, it's like it's the same meter. It seems to be happening over and over again. And so there is this tendency that we have we're going to worship something that's part of our nature we're religious beings and the question becomes are we going to worship the truth the way the truth of life the true god or are we going to get caught up in the golden calf and so this battle that shadrach meshach and abednego and their faithfulness and their willingness to be thrown into the fire knowing that God may save them and God may make them martyrs. 
But in either case, they were willing to accept their fate, but they would not worship the false god. And so we are called today, you know, to, to know our God, to worship our God, to live in the truth, to be free. Jesus speaks to the people who are hearing him about freedom. And they're like, we're not slaves. And Jesus says, if you sin, you are a slave. If you live a life of sin, you are a slave to sin. And when one becomes a slave to sin, sin has a blinding power. And so our Lord is inviting us to, by his grace and by his truth, to follow him into freedom. Will that freedom that Christ leads us into always mean that we're unfettered by the world? Uh, I want to tie back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They weren't free. They were prisoners, weren't they? But they were more free than Nebuchadnezzar because Nebuchadnezzar was a slave to sin. You see the contrast there? So Nebuchadnezzar was a slave to pride. He was a slave to anger. He was a slave to his ego. He was a slave to murder. And he was happy to murder Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were free. They were free to say, I will lay down my life for truth. And so, my brothers and sisters, we pray today that we would live in the truth. That we would know the way. That we would be filled with life. And that we could imitate Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and our fidelity to God, even when it is difficult.